Good afternoon guys, my name is Tommy and welcome back to the channel. This afternoon I'm going to be listening to some death metal and the band is called Obvert and the song is called Invisible Enemy. Now I get numerous emails into my inbox every day asking for me to listen to different music and it's usually bands, promoters, labels and I thought to myself maybe it would be nice to listen to some of these bands that are a little less well known. You know, because we do, or we have done in the past, a lot of Dream Theatre, Metallica, Iron Maiden, you know, the massive, massive bands. But it's difficult for independent artists, and actually I don't know whether these guys are independent or not, but it's difficult for the lesser known bands to get the exposure. So let's start giving them some. And occasionally I'm going to listen to some lesser known bands and hopefully introduce you guys to some new music in the process. So... Hopefully, we're all experiencing this new or relatively new band together. So, like I said, the band is called Obvert. They are described as death metal. And they're similar sounding bands that I've never heard of, but are Hate Eternal, Immolation, and Morbid Angel. So, if that means anything to you, that's what you can expect tonight, this afternoon. Um, I'm just ready to jump into it. Obvert, Invisible Enemy. Remember though guys, if you do want your own reaction to pretty much any song that you want, rather than waiting to see whether I get round to doing it, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash Music, and whichever one you suggest, that will be the very next song that I do. Okay, so if you're interested, head over there. Other than that, let's just jump in. Obvert invisible enemy so let's go
Okay, so, Obvert, Invisible Enemy. I don't know whether that genre suits my taste in the first place. So I not might not be the best person to do a reaction to that kind of song. Just trying to think of what I want to say. I'm going to say some stuff that I didn't like, but I'm well aware that you guys might come back and say that is stylistically natural for that genre of music. And I get it. They might not be doing anything wrong as far as that genre is concerned. But I felt I could appreciate the song more. And you guys that have been watching me for a few years will know that this is a this is a longer pattern for me. This is a, a, long, a running theme for me. I felt like I could appreciate the song more when those blast beats on the drums weren't happening. I felt it gave the song a lot more air to breathe. You could hear the the melodies that the guitars were playing um you know don't get me wrong it was very in your face and i'm sure that that is the style that they're trying to achieve here and you did feel like you couldn't it felt like you were getting caught up in the song which again is what i'm sure they're trying to achieve but I didn't get a good feeling when I was listening to the first bit. I was I was engrossed in the music, but it didn't feel nice. When the song changed, it broke down for a little bit, and you had like a bit of a lead guitar part. And again, it might be my metal naivety. But the only reference point that I've got is it almost sounded a bit like Dream Theatery, that kind of um, high... Uh, solo guitar lead breaking down while everything else kind of relaxed a little bit but when the drums did come back in after that they were playing half time and I still felt like the song could breathe and I still felt like I could um, appreciate the music a bit more now it probably would have been better if I had a lyric video because I'm still getting accustomed to growls um, but I think I'm in the wrong position to do a detailed technical reaction to this song because I'm not particularly familiar with that genre of music or whether I don't really like that genre of music so I'm going to open it up to you guys what did you think of it? you guys are all metalheads by nature like I've only just really been introduced to metal in the last couple of years but you guys have been listening to metal a lot more than me so what did you think of the band and I'll take it I'll take your lead if you say actually they were fantastic then that's fair enough and I'm not saying that they're not fantastic I'm just saying I'm probably in the wrong place to do a reaction to that particular song all I can do is give you my initial thoughts well, I suppose that is still a reaction, but I, I can't... What I'm trying to say is I've got my observations, but I can't reference them against other bands, or I can't benchmark them against anything else. So that's where I think I need you guys to come in and help me benchmark them. You know, how did they compare to some of the other bands that you guys listen to? Were they fresh? Did they bring anything new? Uh, or are they not really doing anything different? And yeah, that kind of thing. Help me help me make a connection between what I've just heard and what the wider music scene is doing in that genre. But that was Obvert, Invisible Enemy. Like I said, there's no offence intended in this if you guys are watching this. It's just that I'm not particularly familiar with your genre of music. The guys that watch the channel 
voted for this so I thought let's give it a go and upon listening to it I'm not in the best position to do a reaction like that but let me know what you think anyway guys if you think that you like the music then uh, let me know other than that I'm gonna head off speak to you all very soon stay safe and um, yeah see you later <laughs>